Yes, people, it's your boyfriend Stones. Thanks for passing by the channel. Hit that sub button for me if you're new here. Comment, share, like, you know, all that good stuff. Let's get all that out of the way, guys. <laughs> Love Island is giving me so much jokes. I can't believe we're on what? Day three. And I'm, bro, this is funny. Whitney, yeah. Whitney was the star of the show for me tonight. Yesterday, it was flipping um, Zach, Zachary or whatever. Tonight, we. <laughs> Yeah, when flipping French Montana, Medi, ain't worried about none. Huh? <laughs> when he was trying to move to her, yeah, and he was like, Yeah, he likes brunettes. <laughs> so, what are you looking for? Good sense of humor. Okay. Brunettes, dark eyes, confidence. Well, this is a wig. <laughs> she like, This is a wig, so I don't know what you want. <laughs> Listen, that girl is real. Listen, yo, I'm loving Love Island this year. I swear down. There's more blackheads in there than acne. I swear down. Bro, that house must smell like flipping. Shea butter, cocoa butter, flipping. Jollof, lamb patties. <laughs> I don't know, bro. Yo, they don't turn Love Island into flipping Peckham. They turned it into a Dolster Market. And it <laughs> yo. It's so dark in that house here. It looks like there's been an eclipse. You know what I'm saying? It is mad. I'm loving it though. Proper light. I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. So tonight's episode started where Zachariah had just teethed, swiped Catherine from Andre, yeah? Because he's soft. Just a soft you. That man there's softer than soggy bread and them things there. So Zachariah just teethed her. He's sitting there like, yo. Like, he couldn't believe it. He couldn't believe it. Even flipping um um French Montana, Zesty Papi. Um, Medi, he couldn't believe it. He was like, oh, I, I could not believe it. <laughs> I remember he said it. He couldn't believe it either. And I don't know why they couldn't believe it. Like, Andre was moving like they'd been married forever. He'd been with her for ages. They got Labrador and a couple, like, ho holiday homes and them things there. He was moving mad. Like, bro, you've known her for, like, 48 hours. Fam, there's sandwiches in my fridge that I've known longer than that, man. Come on, man. Fix up, man. Anyway, he said that he was going to get back on the market, get back to the grafting thing. You get me? Start. You know what I mean? There's plenty of fish in the ocean. You know what I mean? There's plenty of cod out there. But yeah, he said he was going to get back to grafting. Straight away, yeah, as soon as Zachariah and, um, as soon as Zachariah picked Catherine, yeah, they went on a date on a terrace and them things there. Yo! <laughs> Play don't waste my time. Hey, play don't waste my time. Kaboo! Listen, straight away they went up there. She was all feeding him strawberries and everything there. It was all cute, romantic. The ambiance, the atmosphere was correct. <laughs> the lighting, the temperature. Yo! Everything was perfect still. It might ain't got no complaints about any of that. It was good still. It was beautiful. Mwah! 10 out of 10. I am so happy for Catherine. Not only is this girl beautiful with the radiant skin. Just, yo! It just... Not only that, yeah, this season, I swear this is like the first season since I've been watching Love Island, where like the black girl, bro, she got options like it's a, a multiple choice thing. You know what I'm saying? She got options like NSG. Yo, she probably got more men to choose from than NSG and them things there. You know what I mean? This girl, and I'm so happy for it, because usually they have the choice of like a next black man or they're not really, I'm saying, but you know what I mean, innit? Do you know what I mean? Do you connect with me? You don't know what I mean. You know what I mean, right? But that, yeah, that's why I'm happy, man. Happy, happy for Catherine, and I'm happy for us. It's a victory for us. <laughs> I'm a dickhead. I'm sorry. Oi, I see Andre and Rushi getting close, though. They're looking. You know what I mean? They're looking like. See how he was all sobbing on her knee, laying on her knee like a blanket and them things there, like a flipping chihuahua. Just yo, I like it. There's a connection there. And Rushi, I don't feel like I thought when Rushi first came in, like she's. Gonna have bare choices in them things there, but she kind of played herself a little bit. So I think her and Andre, like, they got their good connection. They're both the same height. They're both like, you know what I'm saying? I, I like it for them. I hope they both notice it in them things there. Um, George tried to move to Rushi. <laughs> oh, hey, George is a, like, like, like a waste man that you see at the pub just. Just hanging around, just trying to find friends and them things here. George is a waste, man. Bro, he tried to move to Rushi, blood. This guy, he needs to do like a tree and just leave. <laughs> he needs to leave already, do you know what I'm saying? But yo, she blatantly told him, she was like, yo, 
I, I didn't know I was your type. She basically told him, yo, I thought you like the blonde, you know what I'm saying, the Aryan, <laughs> no, the Aryan brotherhood type, the blonde blue blue eyes and them things there. She she basically told him, you like Becky with the good hair, innit? Do you know what I'm saying? And he's like, no, 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 shut up, man. He does, I swear I will dash my slipper at him already. That man there, you know, George telling her, oh, he doesn't have a type. Bro, nobody cares what you're, even if you do have a type, nobody cares. Go and tell that to your Uber driver that's probably waiting for you because you're soon gone and them things there. Like, nobody cares. Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? Zachariah went and spoke to Andre because, you know, obviously, Zachariah right now, he's Mr. Still Your Girl. He swiped her. Anyway, they spoke like a man. Get me? He was like, yo, I know it's, it's nothing deep in them things there. Get me? So they squashed that. And Catherine also, they spoke as well. And you can tell my man, yo, he was burning like incense sticks. But... He was like, yo, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Andre, you gotta fix up, man. Show us something. Show us something so we can work with something. You just stare, bro. That man is just sitting in like a garden gnome and them things there. I don't know about Andre still. Him and Rushi, I like them together. Oi, do you know what? Yeah, I like Ella, yeah. She's she, I think Ella's beautiful as well. But if she had the stuff done to her face, I know her lips just yo, her lips looks like it's got a ledge in them things there. It's just, when she smiles, <laughs> it just looks like it's got a life of its own and them things there. And then, see her cheeks, yeah? And she got fillers in them. Because it looks like she just got, it's just got, she got chicken bones stuck in her mouth and them things there. Her cheeks look higher than flipping Snoop on tour. You know what I mean? I don't know. I just, it just looks mad. Does she, has she been doing work to her face, man? I'm not sure, man. She just looks a bit like a vampire sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Like Count Dracula and them things there. Jess. Jess really thought she had a chance with Tyreek and I can't, I can't, I can't blame her. Because this brother, yeah, this guy, he's an absolute flirt. He's, he's a wind-up still. <laughs> he's a wind-up merchant. Because the way he goes around smiling with these girls, talking and all that stuff. You see how um when Jess and Rushi was outside talking and he came and laid down with Jess and they had their arms around each other and just, and the dynamics between them two, it's been like, you know what I'm saying? It's been, they've, they've been talking a couple of one, one or two little sexual things and all that stuff. So when she was saying to him that, you know what, she's most compatible with him and she likes him and all that stuff, it's because he kind of gave her them signals. Jess is not my favourite character in there, but this brother, yeah, he was all telling her, oh, like, he's not closed off with Ella and all them things there. He was telling her she's a good kisser and all these things. Telling her all these mad things before, like, this guy's a, bro, this guy is an absolute jockey. The biggest snob jockey. This guy is a skettel. <laughs> if you know what that means, you know what I mean. He's an absolute skettel. See this brother, yeah? This is, he's not only Community Willie. This is the chief CEO of Community Willies. This brother, yeah? He's on some glory hole thing. You know them ones? They managed to just put his Willie anywhere. <laughs> you don't even care what's at the end of it. I don't even, bro. This guy's different still. Tyreek is mad still. We need Tyreek in here. <laughs> Do not vote him out. We need him in it. We need him. We don't need the Mitchells. Mitchells, I swear down. I will beat him with a duck pillow if I see him on road. He's a soft youth. But anyway, we're going to get to Mitchell in a minute. <laughs> George went and tried a second thing with Rushi. Like, he's proper trying to, like, get his claws into her and them things, isn't it? Rushi, anyhow Rushi falls for her. Oh, my... She better not fall for this, this waste man, you know, this George of the Jungle brother. She bet listen, you better not swing his way. I'm telling you, I, Rushi, but I swear she was always saying, oh, bro, he was so desperate. He was telling her, oh, I'm a good guy, you know, I'm a good guy. You're a good guy. She better not fall for this idiot, you know, I swear down. Then the text came through, text came through for Andre. Andre was going on a date with Whitney. Whitney was the new girl who just came in tonight, and Whitney, oh my god, I love Whitney, I, Whitney is a breath of fresh air, like, she's obviously different to, like, um, Catherine, yeah, I like the fact that they're totally opposite, Catherine is a bit more reserved, because she's, she's from Ireland, isn't it, Whitney is the epitome of London, I swear down, bro, if you probably went into London, somewhere in London, I guarantee you, you will find her wigs, placed on top of Big Ben or the London Eye or something. That this girl 
is a real, she's a real Londoner, she's a real G, and I love her attitude, charisma, she's a breath of fresh air, I'm loving it, <laughs> I'm actually loving it, she's 25, from Camden, and she's a wig entrepreneur, do you know what I'm saying, she basically came to like, you know what I'm saying, display her frontals and them things there, because she's trying to shut them, <laughs> she's trying to make sales, this girl, you can tell she's a hustler, she's very confident, she said I'm smart, I'm beautiful, I like her vibe, man. No one's not going to shut her down. See this kind of gal, yeah? I love her. I, I like confident, like, girls. There's a very thin line, though, between, like, confident and just being an idiot. But I li I'm liking her so far. Anyway, Andre went and met her on a date and all that stuff. Andre came down. The gal was all sitting there. She told Andre, yo, you got to come down there and give me a hug because I ain't getting up. <laughs> She was badding him up from one day. Because you can look at Andre and just see he's a wallad. He's an absolute wallad. <laughs> I'm telling you. She was badding him up from one day. But not like that. But it's just, she, she's confident in it. And if you're a man who's not confident about what's between your legs, yeah. You're not going to be able to deal with a girl like this. I love, I love. I'm loving Whitney. I'm loving Whitney, yeah. But yeah, her and Andre had their little date on the rocks by the seaside and everything's there. But, yo, I'm not going to lie. Andre's chat was drier than them rocks they were sitting on. I swear down. The brother got no sauce. Trust me. He's like Levi Roots with no sauce. <laughs> he's got no sauce. I swear down. This gal got beer chat. She all asked him why Catherine dumped him. <laughs> the way she asked him why Catherine dumped him. I, I, I'm, I'm living for Whitney right now. I swear down. Catherine, mwah, optically, aesthetically, I'm loving Catherine. Vibes. 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 Like Vibes Cartel. Listen. All day, all day with me. All day with me. Trust me. I'm loving Whitney still. Anyway, her and that little minion, Andre 3K. <laughs> People are calling him Andre 3K. Andre 3 stacks and them things there, yeah? Bro. Andre from Outcast, in case you don't know. Bro, I can see that. It's really funny. But yeah, they came back to the house. She came, greeted everyone and all that stuff, yeah? Met all the girls and... Bro, I'm feeling this girl. Nighttime comes and you know how that nighttime goes. Because the nighttime is the right time. Oi, the nighttime was the right time. Because you know why? Tyreek and Ella, yo, they started kissing. And the kissing sounds started again this season. Oh, my God. Just... It sounded like a wet pup. You know them ones that just, it was just nasty, but, but they kissed and it was good. And yeah, they kissed. Tyreek is for the streets. He's an absolute scumbag. I'm telling you. He's not. We'll see anyway. <laughs> we'll see. Oh yeah, Mitchell. Mitchell also took Molly up there for, for a kiss on the terrace. They had a little kiss. Mitchell is a, uh, Mitchell. Nobody cares about Mitchell and Molly, man. I swear down. Because they're trying to play this game. And, like, how can you be so in love in, like, two days? What stupidness is this? It's not even real, man. Like, what kind of idiot thing is this? But, yeah, they had a little kiss. Medi trying his little thing with Whitney. <laughs> Oi! Telling her he wants brunettes. And she like, yo, this is a wig. <laughs> I love, love, love black women. I do. I'm not going to lie. Like, yo... It's your boyfriend Stones. Let me know what you think about tonight's episode, man.